You can send messages directly to your friends with Meverse? What's a Meverse? That doesn't exist. What are you talking about? Welcome to Wii U. Uh, alright. So, uh, yeah. Hello. Uh, so, today is, uh, August 4th, 2023. Uh, it's been an interesting day because, uh, just this morning, I think it was at midnight, actually, they, uh, just announced that, uh, they, that Nintendo was, uh, gonna stop, uh, all the online services for 3DS and Wii U games, and, uh, that includes, uh, the game we're gonna check out today, Splatoon 1. Uh, I figured, uh, back when, uh, there was, like, Splatoon went, underwent, like, this, like, six-month-long maintenance or whatever, to, like, fix a, a bug or something. I don't remember the exact details, but uh, during that maintenance time, I decided to just, like, you know, kind of just check out, like, uh, eBay to see, may hey, maybe I could find, like, a used copy or something, because I know I would uh, want to play uh, Splatoon 1's uh, story at some point. So uh, I checked it out, and uh, yeah, I found a copy for, like, 20 bucks, so I was just like, sure, why not? Uh, and, I mean, yeah, I haven't even, uh, put the game in or anything, or I, like, I haven't, uh, started up the game since, uh, I got it, so I figured, you know what, I have this opportunity. Why don't we check out some Splatoon online while I still can? The authentic, original Wii U, uh, s the game that started it all, really. Uh, so... Why don't we go check it out? Maybe after it finishes preparing. There it is. Splatoon. Oh, we're in like a apartment or something. Oh, I just looked down at the screen and it's a it's a map. I don't know. I I don't have any way to show this cuz I don't have a Wii U like gamepad thing, but uh it's just like an overhead view of the apartment building. <laughs> Or the apartment room. That was kind of funky. Uh, alright. So, I mean, yeah. We're here. We're gonna check out Splatoon 1 online. There's not gonna be any, uh, story stuff happening. Uh, so, we're just gonna jump in and see, uh, what all is, what all the fuss is about, about the original game. Choose an inkling, uh, I don't know. Sure. Whatever. I'm just gonna skip through this because I don't... I don't really care. We'll just go generic girl inkling, I guess. Because that, that was what it... The cursor defaulted to. Uh... Hey you, yeah you! Wanna be the freshest squid on the block? Fresh as of... 2015? Is that when, that, is that when this game came out? I don't remember now. Uh, we'll teach you some funky fresh moves on the way to Inkopolis. Funky fresh. Oh god. Uh... Yep, this is fairly standard tutorial. Okay. Uh, alright. Yeah. Inverted camera. That's great. This is gonna be great. I also just realized I can't jump, which is interesting. Reset the camera with Y. Okay. The inverted camera is gonna mess me up constantly. Eh. I can only imagine what it was like back first time playing this in 2015, what that was like. Camera. I know what I would imagine it like. Where's my camera controls? Where can I switch this? Okay. What X. X is the jump button? Uh, okay. Wait, does the B button do anything then? I, all right. Sure, I guess. Uh, interesting. I'm also gonna have to get used to holding this gamepad for uh, doing all the motion controls and stuff, because I'm used to using a fairly small controller. Well, relatively small, just the Switch 
uh, controller. Pro controller. Hey, look at those characters. I've seen them before. I don't remember what their names are, but they're there. You're ready for action. Use that ult. Jump. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Quick tutorial. Just like it was. Just like it is in kind of every other game, really. And just like in every other game, the camera's inverted, which I hate. So I need to go change that right away. This seems familiar. This is weird, like... I didn't play... Like, I've never played Splatoon 1 up until right now. It was 2015. Uh, so... Uh, technically, my first introduction to this place was in Splatoon 3, in the, the Inkopolis uh, DLC thing. Which is... I don't know. I... How faithful were they to this? That's something we can find out, I guess. Hold on to your tentacles. It's, Inc it's Inkopolis news time. Uh, let's unveil the current regular battle stages. Alright. Salt spray rig. I hope those poor seagulls don't get all inked up. Well, seagulls are natural predators of squid, so... Port mackerel. This stage has visibility for days. A charger would be totally money. Word. What did I just read? Now the current ranked battle stages. Splatastic! Flounder Heights. I spotted Judd com commuting he from here to Inkopolis. Wait, is this where he lives then? Hammerhead Bridge. I bet it'd be fun to ride over this bridge on a bike. I've never seen you ride a bike without falling off. Interesting. Newsflash, newsflash! What is it? What is it? Great Zapfish gone? Inkopolis' great Zapfish has vanished. Wait, seriously? If it isn't recovered soon, are we gonna lose power? Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine, probably. UFO sighting? Oh my god, look at that compressed picture. Uh, I wonder if, I, if it has anything to do with that UFO crash. Sounds likely to me. Well, that's all for now. Until next time. Stay fresh. Okay. Well, I guess that's where that comes from then, from uh, the news in Splatoon 1. Uh, welcome to Inkopolis. This is the plaza where all the freshest folk come to chill like krill. That, al that line also sounds familiar. Uh, most Inklings here are obsessed with the hottest sport in Inkopolis. Ink battles. I, I hate how that fox is just staring directly into my soul. Uh, the, the crazy tall building in front of you is Inkopolis Tower. It's the city's most famous landmark. There's a lobby on the first floor of Inkopolis Tower for online battles. This is Booyah Base, uh, for a shopping mall for all your inking needs, or inkling needs. Uh, you can buy all kinds of fresh gear and weapons to use in battle. But, uh, but check it, the staff in the shops can be a snobby bunch. They won't serve you if they don't think you're fresh enough. Right. Battle Dojo is on the second floor of that building over there. Check it out if you want to battle your friends one-on-one -on -one and sharpen your skills. Right, I've heard about this. This is like a local multi multiplayer thing. What are those characters doing? Just dancing in front of a cafe? Uh, you might want to steer clear of that back alley. It smells a little fishy. And next we have... Huh? Who's that creepy old dude? He seems like the type who can get you mixed up in something dangerous. I, that's the story mode, I'm pretty sure. Uh, whatever, why don't you just head to the lobby in Ingopolis Tower. That's where you can get your splat on. My splat on, my splat -oon. Uh, okay. Where... Right, that's not the menu. Uh, oh, the menu's just on the gamepad uh, screen options. Yeah. Normal inverted, yes. Also, move the camera sensitivity. I don't remember what I have it at in the other games. That seems fine. Yeah, also... Yes, camera is correct now. Uh, Miiverse display, color lock. Uh, lock all colors to... Lock ink colors to make it easier to tell them apart. Uh, hit on by accident. Uh, inkling? Want to change your inkling's gender, skin tone, or eye color? No. So I know this is very interesting because I'm looking at the gamepad screen and I can't capture the gamepad game screen. So 
Uh, show Miiverse posts in the game. I mean, if Miiverse existed, I'm sure it could. So, yeah, look at all these crazy characters. Hmm. I mean, yeah, this is uh, definitely just the... Actually, it's weird going here, where there's... Because there's just, like, no steps here. So that's... yeah. And yeah. Oh, is this a, uh, a default post? They're so happy. Uh, alright, so... Let's, let me just take a look around here really quick, because I'm curious about this. I mean, I probably can't do anything with this, because I don't have any extra controllers nearby, but uh, in Battle Dojo you can play one-on-one -on -one battles uh, against a friend. One player plays on the gamepad while the other plays on the TV. Right, right. I remember this. Like, I remember hearing about this. Because it's like... Uh, I remember hearing that this was like something that was just like in the game and they like literally never updated it. So it's kind of like a relic of like version 1 of Splatoon 1.0 or whatever. Uh, looking over here... Yeah, this is the, uh, card thing, I believe, in Ingopolis, and now it's just a, a vending machine. So that's cool. Oh, is this something? An arcade cabinet? Look at the gamepad. Uh, start. Oh, right, I remember seeing this before. Uh, I'm sure you can tell. Uh, I mean, t yeah, this isn't going to be anything uh, that I can show on the screen, but it's a... Uh, I remember hearing, uh, I believe, if you're in the lobby, I mean, we can go check out the lobby. Why not? Uh, yeah, if you're in the lobby, you can, like, play the mini game, like a mini game while you're waiting. In this case, it's like a, you're just like jumping from one platform to another without falling. Welcome to the lobby. Uh, this is the place to be for ink battles. You can raise your level and earn that sweet, sweet cash by battling. A higher level will let you access the freshest gear in the shops and play all new battle modes here in the lobby. So get that level up. Uh, if you want to buy we weapons and gears, weapons and gear, you've got to earn some cash first. Uh, so if you want the freshest gear, you gotta be able to battle as much as you can. You gotta battle as much as you can. But enough talk, let's get you started with a regular battle. As your level increases, don't forget to check the shops in the plaza. Alright, go get them! If you participate in online battles, your game stats may be published in the game and online. Okay. Uh, alright. We got some stages, you gotta be level 10 to play ranked battles. Interesting. Uh... Well, we're probably not going to be able to see this uh, at any point, but uh, from what I understand, it's just the same thing as all the other modes. Except, uh, I don't think Clam Blitz existed, so it's just uh, Splat Zones, Rainmaker, and... Uh, what is the third one? Tower Control. That's it. Uh, equip. I mean, there's probably nothing here. Yeah. Cool. Standard. Standard stuff. Let's join in on a regular battle. I assume that... Oh, hey, that's my name. Uh, interesting you picked my name and not my, uh, like, username. That's kind of weird, but sure. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I kind of assume that when people, or when Nintendo announced that Splatoon 1 is going down, that it'll inspire people to, uh join in, but, uh, I mean, I guess we'll find out at some point. Oh yeah, I just looked down at my, uh, the gamepad screen and I can play the jump game. Oh man, Ellie's here. Ellie's joining in. Yeah. Oh god, there's, like, poison! Okay. There's, like, poison water rising up to me. I'm realizing I'm going to have to describe everything that's happening on the gamepad screen, because, uh, I, uh, there's a, I can't show it on the main screen. Jump. But yeah, I got, like, 
there was like a rising purple water type thing and it uh it got me it was rising really fast as well i don't know what was up with that uh so yeah we're uh we're here it uh it seems what is this goal oh that's the goal okay there's like a weird yellow thing i don't even know uh, but yeah, I don't know how uh, how active Splatoon 1 is right now. I've heard it's pretty active, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm literally starting from nothing. But uh, I uh, guess we'll see. Returning to the lobby because not enough players joined the battle. Please try again. Hmm. That's a uh, that's gonna be a bit of a uh, an issue if I can't uh, actually play a battle. I'm on stage two. No, don't fall. Oh, I didn't hold it long enough. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Uh, yeah. Salt spray rig and port mackerel. Wait, is port mackerel in Splatoon 2? It might be. That sound. The name sounds familiar, and the picture also kind of sounds familiar. So, I'm now kind of wondering... Uh, hmm. Also, I'm uh, a little bit uh, concerned about playing this on the Wii U because uh, I don't have a like actual Ethernet uh, cable. So okay. Uh, so I'm just using Wi-Fi. So that can be that might be a bit spotty, but uh, I guess we'll see. Also, uh, seems like no one's playing this game right now. In a turf war, teams have three minutes to cover the ground with ink. When time runs out, whichever team has inked the most turf will win. Uh, so you do your best to help claim the most turf for your team. Also earn battle points based on how much turf you ink. And if your team wins, a bonus will be added to your score. Uh, battle points increase your level and you can earn new cash at the end of a match. Splattering the ground with ink will also fill up your special gauge. When the gauge is full, press R to unleash your special weapon. Using your special weapon at the right time can be the key to victory. Okay, cool. Now let's t take your skills to the next level by talking about the Wii U gamepad. Teammate. Whenever you're in battle, check out gamepad to see the turf map. Using this uh, map to make sure enemies aren't stealing... Use this map to make sure enemies aren't stealing turf behind your back. You can also tap a teammate's icon to super jump to that player's position. Be careful not to super jump right into an enemy ambush, though. So make sure to check the turf map before launching into a super jump. If you want to be a win winner, you got to use the game pad like a champ. Uh, let me just try one more time, I guess. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. Give it a try, why not? As I try jumping up these platforms on the Wii U gamepad. Oh my god, eh. I died to the purple ooze again. The purple grape soda. Okay, jump up, jump up. Again, I know this is very uh, exciting for you to see when there's nothing on screen. But I mean, yeah, it's just... uh, It's kind of... You know what it reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of Ice Climber. I played Ice Climber for like a total of five minutes. We got uh, Kake. Interesting. Uh, oh. We got Blix. PSX. Oh god. Jump! They distracted me. The people joining me distracted me because uh, I wasn't... I wasn't expecting people to show up. Uh, Alright, so... What was I talking about? I don't remember. <gasps> More people! Uh, Damiao and Shinamon. Oh, whoops, I just fell. Okay, I'm dead. Uh, game over? You can get a game over? I mean... I don't know. <gasps> Jeffrey? I mean, hey. 
chances are I'll probably have to edit some of this, some of the waiting times, because uh, I'm not sure if uh, just sitting here for three minutes is the most entertaining thing. So, yeah. I guess we'll, we'll see what happens. We got seven people. We just need one more. Oh wait, I just remembered. Can you... Can you do the thing where you like distort the voice? Kind of? It's actually kind of hard to tell. You turn up the volume a bit. Kind of can. I don't know. Also, hey, Link joined. It's battle time. Hell yeah. You can finally see what's what's going on here. Salt spray rig. I've never seen this stage before. All right, I'm here. Ready? Go. Whoa. Let's go. Uh, I don't really know where to go, but uh, I assume. Uh. Walking, following the path will help. Okay, I'm charged. I don't actually know what this is. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh god. Alright. Jump is X. I forgot. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> I was pressing the B button to jump. Uh, which, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Alright. Well. The, the change from the B button being jumped to X is going to completely throw me off, I'm being honest. Oh god. Yeah. I got someone. I actually got someone. Crazy. I'm gonna go up here. Is there any point to this? Probably not. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Bombs. I have this. It's a shield, I assume. Okay, well, not gonna... Oh god. Kage! Oh, alright. Oh yeah, that's right, I can jump, can't I? Uh, everyone is in the same spot, so maybe that's not a good idea. I just looked down at the screen. There is nothing down there, okay. <laughs> One minute left, okay. Good, good timing for that. Oh god. Duh. Alright, oh, hello. <laughs> okay. That worked out. Somehow. Alright. It's also interesting hearing this, uh, quote-unquote new version of Now or Never. This version I haven't heard before. So, uh, can you, like, go up here? Huh. That's interesting. Oh, hello. My aim is bad. I just tried pressing X to open the map again. Uh, someone's trying to jump to me. Throw bomb! Yeah. The best thing to do at an end of a match. At the end of a match. Uh, I don't think we got it. They also barely ink anything. No. First match is a loss. No, I'm like slamming the ground. Apparently I did the best. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, I'm level 2. That's cool. Battle again? I mean, sure, if I have the chance, while I actually- while there are actually people here, might as well. Considering how, uh, unlikely it was to see anyone before. Before now. So, yeah, just why not? I'm still trying to- I don't think... Maybe? I think you can, like, modify the music a bit by, like, moving the sticks around. 
It sort of sounds like it, but it might just be in my head. I don't know. I remember that was definitely a thing you could do in Splatoon 2 while waiting for people. So, I mean, if it is a thing here, then hey, that's cool. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, cut to if something happens or not. Who do we got with this? We got Kage, uh, PSX, Damiao, uh, Shinamon, and Lydia Ubu. Yep. A real ragtag group of, uh, of Inklings. It's also interesting just hearing this music and remembering what the Splatoon 2 version of the lobby music was. Because this is, this is very similar, but it's like a more... Uh, like laid back version, I guess. The other one was definitely very was pretty laid back as well, but it was also like the the voice was a lot more distinguishable, I guess. That 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 what that voice. I can hear you could hear a lot better in the Splatoon ver two, Splatoon two version, but I can like barely hear it here. I don't know, there's also like steel drums and stuff in here as well. It's like really tropical, weirdly enough. Uh Alright. Had a feeling. Okay, uh since it seems to be rather difficult to get a match currently, uh I see this recon option, so we can go take a look at the stages, I suppose. Well, I mean, we already saw Salt Spray Rig, so... I mean, hey... Why not? We get a closer look at everything. Uh, it's an interesting layout, uh, if nothing else. I don't think I've, uh, seen this, uh, type of layout before. Because it's like... It's not, it's not symmetrical in the sense that the, like... Like, you start over there, and... Your opponent starts like over here, and the whole thing is symmetrical. It's symmetrical in the sense that like both teams start over here, from what it looks like on the map, and then they like both rush to the center, which is like this, this bit here. So yeah, I mean, yeah, what is this pizza? Inkling loves pizza. Okay, it's good to know no matter no matter what the the time no matter what time, no matter what species, no matter when pizza is universal. No matter how many apocalypses or post-apocalyptic whatever's happen. It's a. It's kind of beautiful in a sense. And like me versus dead, that's like in a. I'm pretty sure that's like an official Nintendo uh, one. An official Nintendo post. Can't tell what that is. We can like go up here. That's interesting. Hmm. Where's the center area? There's one minute left. Oh, right, I forgot. This Splatoon 2, I remember, had the same thing, where recon only lasts for like three minutes for some reason. But in Splatoon 2, there's still technically a time limit, but it's an hour. So it's like, basically not there, but I don't understand why there needs to be a timer for this. This is interesting. Can you just like, go on the screen? I'm curious as to what the actual functionality would be to this, but, uh, I mean, that's... This is interesting, I suppose. It'll be a really good spot for any <laughs> snipers. Snipers with respawn punisher. That would... That would be great. I would love that. That's my favorite part of Splatoon 3. Uh... Snipers with respawn punisher. Okay, you just leave. Let's uh, check out Port Mackerel. This one also 
This sounded familiar, like it was from Splatoon 2. I think this is from Splatoon 2. This seems does this does seem very similar. Yeah. Yeah, this is from Splatoon 2. Or like I remember playing it in Splatoon 2. This was like a a launch map, I'm pretty sure. Which is like the only way I know what a Splatoon 2 stage is or not. Is if it was a launch map or not, because I mean, you know, I've I've talked about it before, but the for one, the map rotations and also just by the time they actually started adding new stages, I was kinda like disinterested in the game already. And uh Yeah. And by the time like a new map did come out and I tried to play it, the map rotations would just be like, Oh, okay, let's you'll play on the old stage instead instead of the new one. The one you played on like a hundred times on already. Right. Right, and it's also the spawn area is just like there. You don't just like fly onto the map. It's just interesting because I'm like forgetting. Cause, like don't I don't remember all of the mechanics from I guess Splatoon two. Uh, so going back to it is kind of it's really something, you know. And yeah, this is a uh, definitely. I've definitely seen this stage quite a bit because there's a lot of a uh, there's a lot of tight spaces in here and, and these things. I'm not sure how they get work done with the paint on their windshield, but you know, it uh, it's a thing. Uh, I think we'll just uh, go. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try again. If I can't get in, then I'll just cut to the... to... I'll just cut. Oh man. Starting off strong, we got three right off the bat. Also, maybe it's just a me thing, but it's weird to just see my name and not shrug in the... in the thing. I... I mean, I guess you can tell when I decided to change, uh, change it to something, I guess, a bit more anonymous, but... I mean, Travis, I mean, it's not that uncommon a name, but it's, it's, it's there. That's, that's my name. Don't wear it out, I guess. I'm trying to match the vibe of this game's, uh, dialogue. Hey, guess what? It timed out. You know, part of me wonders if this, uh, these matchmaking issues are because I just started the game and it, like, hasn't determined, like, what, like, level to set me at or whatever to, like, match with other people, or if it's just literally there are only three people in the world trying to play Splatoon 1 Turf War right now. I don't know. The inner machinations of Splatoon matchmaking are an enigma. Okay. Third time's the charm, right? Rick, 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 Rick. Rick, 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 Rick. Rick, 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 Rick. What is the timer doing? It just like counted up 200 seconds in, over the span of- oh my god. There's a chance. There's a chance we might find somebody. <gasps> oh my god. The other eight people in the world, or the other seven people in the world who are playing Splatoon 1 right now. It's amazing. Oh hey, we're back here. I don't remember the Splatoon 2 version of this stage enough to, like, determine what is, a uh, what is, a uh, actually, like, different about it or not, but, uh, hey, music, I don't think I've heard this song before, it's 
so yeah, that's cool. And we're going. Oh, hello. Oh god. Uh, huh. Interesting. That's great. Uh, no matter what game, that's always gonna be a thing. Pink Zooka. Oh my god. Oh, I could just barely squeeze through. Oh god. Yeah! Struck from behind. I just started mashing the ZR button like it was gonna launch me down into a... into... alright. Yeah, get out of the ink, man! Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's defend our turf. We gotta defend our turf. Otherwise, what are we doing here? Man? Oh, wow. Okay, maybe uh, just uh, use this chance to get away safely, perhaps. It's already ex it's already gone. Okay. Oh wow. Oh hello. <laughs> ah, dude. Let me up. Yeah, all I can say is that this definitely is very familiar. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm somehow still alive. I'm impressed by this. Okay. We're just uh, gonna be here the whole time, I guess. One thing I haven't done yet is, like, actually try to throw bombs. Okay. I think I'm, like, Starting to get used to this, I guess. Oh, hello. That was, uh, completely unintentional, but, I mean, hey. I don't know. Uh, yeah, oh, hello. Okay. Oh god, I tried pressing B to jump again. I'm not getting used to this at all. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. That was, a uh, a bit one-sided there. Yeah, first win. Got an extra thousand points. I got ten kills, what the fuck? How did that work? Ability unlocked. Heck yeah. Battle again? I mean, I'll try. It'll all depend on if everyone else uh, shows up again. I'm level 3. I'm toasty. Uh, I guess uh, the things in the store unlock at level 4, right? I believe. I think that's the case. Level 4 sounds correct to me. If it's level 5, then uh, I guess we'll be waiting some more. Playing squid jump. We're jumping. Okay. Cool not jump there. I died. Jump. What are you doing? Get it. Oh, just barely. Stop it with the just barely as I need to be like actually good with this. Actually, you know what this reminds me of? Is a... Uh, this mini game is a... Uh, that what was it called? Uh Jump King. That's what Squid Jump reminds me of. Cause like you can't move and you have to time all your your jumps correctly. And it's really hard to gauge. That's what this reminds me of. Anyway, uh we're back in uh Port Macril. Okay. Okay, I think I've heard this song before. 
I think it was... I think it's specifically in the lobby of uh, Splatoon 3, though. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, oh god. Oh, okay. At least that worked. I'm surprised that I actually got somebody. Apparently bombs work well. Oh god. Back up. Oh, they had the same thought as I did. That is... Yeah. I saw you there. Look. Oh, okay. You can't hide from me. Uh... I need to find... Okay. Sure. I'll just... I'll just move on with my day. Oh god. Sniper. Okay. Classic Squiffer. I keep doing the thing where I'm just mashing the ZR button, trying to launch. That's interesting. One thing that, like, immediately stands out to me, that, like, I don't know if it comes... Th Whoa, I don't know if it comes through on camera or not, is, uh... This game feels a lot brighter than Splatoon 3. So that's interesting. Like, oh god. It is very, uh... Okay. That... Sure. That works. Yeah, like, these colors feel like they're a lot brighter than in 3. And I guess it's, a. Uh, I guess that works out in his favor, because it's, you know, all about the colorful colors painting the turf. Uh, there's a lot of orange here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're here. Oh, hello. You, stop. Uh, I I don't think I've like looked at the bottom screen once. Oh god. At the I don't think I've looked at the touch screen once to like try and jump. I don't know. These stages kind of feel like smaller than uh, Splatoon 3's stages. I feel. I don't know if that's like actually the case or not, but I feel like I'm getting around the stages pretty quickly. So, I don't know. It's interesting. Yay! I got first place again, what the heck? Oh, I'm so close to level 4. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go again. Try and get that level 4. Uh, and... While we do that, uh, we just gotta wait for uh, two more people to show up. Time for another cut! While I play Jump King again. Not, not really. It's a. Once you play it once, it's kind of like, yeah, I get the point. I understand it as like a, a waiting game, though, while you're waiting for people to show up. But, uh, yeah, it's a. It's not my thing. Did they ever make, like, additional things to play, like, while you're waiting? Because all I have here is Squid Jump. There might be. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about this game, really. Other than that it is a sequel to a game that I have played a lot. Actually, weirdly enough, despite how little I played Splatoon 3... Or Splatoon 2 compared to Splatoon 3, I feel like... Splatoon 2 was my most played game up until Splatoon 3. Now that I think about it. Because, I mean, like, most ga most games, I prefer playing, like, single-player games that are, like, relatively, like, average length, I guess. Like, average 20 hours, at most, like, 30 or 40. So, but, like, most games are, like, I end up are, like, 10, 15 hours. 
So it's like, and I usually just like go through it once, and then I'm usually good with that, and don't usually play it again, unless I want to. But uh, even then, uh, Splatoon 2 still, uh, I still ended up playing Splatoon 2 more than most other games I played. So yeah, and then Splatoon 3 overtook that by like a factor of like 10 at this point. <laughs> I don't even know what my playtime in Splatoon 3 is. It's a uh, it's definitely in the hundreds. I don't think I've broken like 500 yet, but it's it's getting close to that. I'm kind of curious now, if I had played Splatoon 1 when it originally came out, would I have the same thoughts as it of it? As, would I have the same thoughts of Splatoon 1 as I do with Splatoon 2 currently? Because Splatoon 2 was my first Splatoon game. I don't know. And what I think, and when I like play Splatoon 2 as much as I had Splatoon 3, I don't know. It's an interesting thing to think about. And then if and then if I had played the original uh, Splatoon, what would I think of Splatoon 3? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, there there are stages here in Splatoon 1 that haven't been like brought over to Splatoon 3. So, I mean, I mean. If they ever do bring it over, then it'll be good. Like, it'll, it'll be new content to me, except for Salt Spray Rig, I guess. Uh, but, uh, it, it's, uh, would my views on it change if it was just like, oh, it's just a returning stage or whatever? Because I, I sort of had that, uh, oh my god, with level 40s and 50s. Uh, well, I guess, uh, We'll see how this goes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's just an interesting, like, what-if thought thought experiment, I guess. I don't know. Uh, a what-if scenario. I don't even know what stages are in this game that haven't been, like, brought forward to the other games. Well, I mean, I know for sure Salt Spray Rig is one of them. Uh... I don't remember what the other <clears throat> I don't know what the other stages are that are on currently. So, I mean, it's easy enough to Google, I guess. But I mean, I mean, I might as well. I have like forty seconds before this lobby inevit inevitably drops again. Let's see. Let's Google. Google uh, Splatoon one maps. Stage. Inkipedia. The Splatoon Wiki. List of stages. Uh, oh, they even say if it's in Splatoon 2 or 3 or not. Uh, Urchin Underpass. That is not in 2 or 3. Walleye Warehouse. I don't recognize, but apparently it was in Splatoon 2. Uh, I'm looking at the picture and I don't recognize it. Might as well keep uh, looking, or keep waiting while I'm going through this. Uh, Salt Spray Rig, yeah, we've seen that. Arowana Mall. Uh, why am I with a level 50? Uh, Alright. Uh, these rankings, they are very consistent. Once you're toasty, you're good to go with the, with the <laughs> fucking big guns. Uh, Arowana Mall is another stage I don't recognize, but apparently was in Splatoon 2. Uh, I, looking at the picture, I don't recognize it. Blackbelly Skate Park, I also don't recognize. Uh, yeah, I, I, it was in Splatoon 2, and again, I don't recognize the image. Upon returning in Splatoon 2, it is much wider and open than in the first game, with spawn points further back on elevated platforms that, and it, that the enemy team cannot reach. Uh, Port Mackerel, yeah, we've seen that. Kelp Dome. I think I might have seen this one. This might have been one of the stages that I saw, but I couldn't actually play because of the way match rotate or map rotations work. Uh, so, I don't know, but Kelp Dome does sound familiar, that name. So, yeah. It's a it's it's a Splatoon one map that's also got ported that also got ported to Splatoon two. Uh, 
Bluefin Depot is a large abandoned train station with crates and an elevated railroad track that is split into two sections in the center. Uh, don't recognize this. It was just only in Splatoon 1. Uh, Moray Towers. I do recognize Moray Towers. That was one of the like original stages that came with the Splatoon 2. This was also in, it was also in Splatoon 1, apparently. Camp Triggerfish. This does not sound familiar at all. Uh, it was in Splatoon 1 and 2, so... Yeah. When did the game come out? Uh, 21st of July, 2017. Uh, Camp Triggerfish came out 25th of April, 2018. So yeah, I never saw it. Flounder Heights. That is in Splatoon 3, I know that. Hammerhead Bridge. Uh... Okay, I'm just being matched with Japanese players now, that's great. Uh, Hammerhead Bridge. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. Upon returning in Splatoon 3, construction is complete, giving Hammerhead Bridge an upper layer or ceiling. The grates have also been replaced with concrete, and the general elevation has been lowered. Huh. So I guess Hammerhead Bridge has a different layout in Splatoon 1, so that's something. Museum Dalfonsino. That is in Splatoon 3, and uh, there's that. Mahi Mahi Resort, that is also in Splatoon 3. Uh, Piranha Pit, that is also something I don't recognize that came out 31st of March 2018. Uh, Anko V Games, Anko V, Anko 5, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't recognize this one either. This Splatoon 1 and 2. The Reef. Yeah, I remember this one. This was, uh, came, like, with... It was part of, like, version 1 of Splatoon 2. Muscle Forge Fitness, I recognize that. Starfish Main Stage, I also recognize that. Humpback Pump Track, yep. Uh, that is in Splatoon 3 currently. I also barely played on that stage, because, again, map rotations. Uh, Inkblot Art Academy. Oh my god, more people. Inkblot Art Academy, yep, seen that. Okay, I'm just in Japan now, that's good. Uh, Sturgeon Shipyard, Shifty Station, Manta Maria, Snapper Canal, don't know what that is. Mako Mart, Schellendorf Institute, no clue. Dolby Arena, no idea. Wahoo World, yep. New Albacore Hotel, uh, I have no idea. Skipper Pavilion, there's still more, oh my god, how many stages are there? I was like trying to rush through that. Okay, uh, yeah, so, in a lobby with Japanese players, one thing you must be made aware of is that there is going to be a lot of, uh, lag, so things that seem to happen on your screen is probably very different to what is happening on your opponent's screen. So, yeah, that is something that I've learned, because Splatoon, for some reason, just seems to have a habit of putting me in Japanese lobbies, and I don't know why... Okay, Luna Blaster Neo. I wonder what the people here think when they see, like, oh, I got the level 3 player on my team. I got the level 3 probably- oh god, I forgot what, what button the jump button was. Okay, Aris. Aris. I'm- I'm after you now. You're on my list. Okay. I don't have enough ink. Okay. Alright. I know you're here. My aim! The Splattershot Jr. is very, uh, not good for trying to actually get rid of people. Oh god. I have a thing on me. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to get these people out of here. That's all I want. Okay, oh my god. Alright. Also, I just realized, is there no ouch call out? All I saw was come on and booyah. Which is also another thing that I'm aware of. Oh my god. I actually- oh god. What is happening? Uh... Okay, I don't know where that came from. 
Probably from them. Yeah. Carbon Robo Deco. That weapon sounds familiar. Also, yeah, that's another thing I'm. I was. I'm like. I was vaguely aware of. Uh, this game got like two different uh, like English translations. One for the Americas and one for uh, Europe, the UK, I guess. And the callouts are uh, are different in each. And interestingly enough, each uh, one of them matches exactly with the. In each language, one of them maps exactly with what the Japanese callouts are. Because in Japanese, come on, or I guess in this case, this way, in future games, is come on in Japanese, and Buya is nice in Japanese, and this game, uh, it's come on, and in the UK English version is uh, uh, nice. So that's interesting. Also, I, sure, sure, man, I'm here. I'm level 4 now. I'm just gonna go to the shop now. You need something new to look at? I need something look new to look at, because I'm probably cutting a bunch of stuff around. Okay. Actually, I can just go there on my Wii U gamepad. Uh, oh, here. I actually don't know if I t hit weapons or headgear. Okay, it was weapons. Hello, hello, let me guess, you're looking for some new weapons? Then you've come to the right place. Our weapons come in sets, a main weapon on ZR, a sub-weapon on R, and yes, a special weapon. Sound complicated? Well, don't worry, you can press Y to try it before by... Uh... I can read the manual? Looking fairly fresh. Uh, I think you have what it takes to wield my splatter shot, the basic splatter shot. I notice there's no hurry it up. Uh, splat roller, yep. Rollers, uh, splat charger. Yep, yep, yep. Tentatex splatter shot. Yep. Uh, what do we got? Uh, that's not right. What's good, Squiddo? Crush these Sean. Glad to see you here in Shrimp Kicks. You're looking pretty slick there. Someone's been battling, am I right? Just so you know, all the stuff I'm selling comes with abilities attached. No extra charge. If you don't know about abilities, just press uh, the home button and check out the manual, you heard? Okay, uh... How do I... Oh, it's an X button. Developed after the Great Turf War, this weapon is easy enough for anyone to use, and a great all-arounder with a few weak points. Uh, trusty, a trusty companion through thick and thin. Wait, do all of these have descriptions? Aside from inking the ground... Huh. That's something that's not in any of the future games. That's actually... Very interesting. Uh, what does this have? Suction bomb, suction bomb, and ink, ink zuka, bomb rush. I mean, sure. We'll just go with the basic splatter shots. Uh, why not? Also, everything is bought with money rather than uh, rather than uh, licenses. Which I think I prefer the licenses over, uh, over what they have in, uh, uh, in this game, I guess, in Splatoon 2. Uh, Bomb Sniffer? What the hell's Bomb Sniffer? Reveals traps and hidden bombs placed by your opponents. What do I have on right now, actually? Can I see? Uh, Special Saver, Quick Super Jump. Increases respawn or quick respawn, ink recovery up, special duration up. Uh, I mean, I don't know. We can see bomb sniffer. I've never heard of bomb sniffer before. I hit the wrong button. Uh, stealth jumps. Yeah, everything here seems uh, familiar. I don't know. Sure. Why not? Nice doing business with you, Tap Equip. Yep. Jalonzo, Jellyfresh, thanking your visit by Jalonzo's clothes to become full of the confidence. Abilities are being inside of the gear items. Information is living in manual. Press home for the reading, yes. Cold-blooded? I keep hitting- I keep thinking that ZL is the info button. Uh, shortens the effects of the attacks that let enemies track your position, such as point sensors. 
Oh, that's funky. Huh. These are some interesting uh, abilities that I haven't seen. That I guess that I guess didn't come back in Splatoon two and three. Uh, I mean, I hit the wrong button again. I keep thinking Zadella's info. I uh, I don't think it's it doesn't sound that useful, but I mean, I don't know. Whatever. I need to. Oh, oh, hello. So welcome to Cooler Heads. Feel free to uh, look around if you want. All the gear here has, you know, abilities and stuff. If you want to know more, you could press uh, home and look at the manual if you're into that sort of thing. Loser alert. Thank you. Love that. Hey, they got my glasses. The glasses that I use in Splatoon 3. Uh, nothing else here seems that crazy. You know what? Sure, why not? Just for... Just for some consistency. You'll be back. And, you know, sure, why not? I have the money. Who cares? I don't plan on playing this after this, so... Why not? We'll go with the loadout that makes no sense. Trying out random things. Also, I think I wanted to use this one, right? Yeah, I wanted to try out what whatever this ink kazooka is. Test. What is test? Oh, okay, it's just this. Wow, this is so much more precise than the uh what is it? Splattershot Jr. That's cool. There's a ramp up here. I was gonna say this is a very basic uh thing compared to other games. Ooh. Surrounded. I'm surrounded by many balloons that I must pop. Okay. Oh, these ones actually pop. We got like 500 health. Also, there's a basketball hoop. For some reason. Ooh, can I... Oh, I don't... I don't think this will work. I don't think this will work, because, yeah. Wait, can I... Weapons. Uh, wait, that's not what I want either. Will this work? I must. I must. I have to. Oh, nice. Uh, my, uh, my guy even cheered. That's cool. I'm gonna switch back to this, though. Okay, actually, how does this work? This is what testing is all about. Oh my god. Okay, it's just like the, uh... Oh, it just goes forever. That's... Or it just goes until your uh, thing at the top right goes down. Uh, hmm. I was gonna say, it's like the uh, Trizuka from Splatoon 3, but no, you get... You just get as many as you want, I guess. That is... interesting. Uh, alright. Cool. We're, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and try this. Why not? Uh, okay. So, actually, let me just check something quickly. I'm curious. Sapping and mate. Uh, now who are you then? You a cop? Nah, you're too fresh to be a cop. Uh, but you know what would make you ev even fresher? Someone else's gear. That's where old Spike comes in. You ever see a bloke strolling around on the, in the plaza with some right fresh gear that you fancy for yourself? Just walk up to that bloke, check him out with A, uh, and then press X to uh, order their gear for me. I can't guarantee I'll get you gear with the same abilities, uh, but it'll look just as fresh. Trust me, love. Right then, I'll be waiting for your order. Oh, interesting. Sapnin, mate. You haven't ordered anything. Uh, go with the folks at the plaza. I thought that, uh... You could, like, clean things off your... Off your clothes. Hmm. I wonder how that works in this game. I have no idea. Neavers? Neavers post? The Miiverse service has ended. 
Miiverse and any software features that make use of Miiverse will no longer be available. Thank you for your interest. It's a sad day. And it will soon be even sadder because this game will truly be dead in April, I think. I think that's when they said it would be it would be stopping all the online. So I mean that's uh that's the that's what happens with online games. They they do end. So yeah. Oh my god. Just instantly got in the game. What the fuck? Everyone is level 50 as well. Is level 50 the cap? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're here. Okay. Okay. Sure. I don't know. We're going. We're inking. I don't know if that'll work or not, but... Okay. Okay. I don't know why they seem to think... I noticed that everyone here seems to think that hiding in ink and just not moving will work. Uh, that's interesting. Where's that coming from? Oh my god. I'm just gonna move... No, I'm not. I got killed by a rapid blaster. Also, yeah, there's no ouch call out. It's just come on and boo, yeah. It's just come on and nice. Which is, uh. weird. It's actually very strange. I don't know why it's like that. I guess, uh, we'll do this. Why not? Uh. I don't know what's going on. There's someone up there. I don't know. I thought I saw someone here. Someone blue. I don't know. I was right. There is someone here. They're inside the box. Okay. That's interesting. Sure. I don't know if they can actually do anything in there, but that's cool. Can I jump? Uh, tacos, I'm jumping to you. Oh, that whole area over there is, uh, very blue looking. I nearly just fell off into, uh, into death again. Also, uh, yeah, that was, a. Uh, I guess that's like a common or like a well-known thing that you can just go into those boxes. That's a... something. I'm learning all sorts of things that I never thought I would ever learn. Okay, there you go. Oh, I see that, uh... That Kraken. I remember hearing that was a thing from Splatoon 1. The Kraken. But it was also, like, overpowered or something, so... Booyah. Someone is booyahing. Don't know why. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, I wonder what that Skull and Crossbones is, and then I I realize now. I, I realize a, a little bit too late. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. I wonder if those two people were just hanging out inside that box the whole time. Kind of felt like that, because I felt like I was only fighting two people. Uh, yeah. Yeah, one of them got zero points, so... Pretty sure they were just kinda... there for fun. Well, uh, okay. Sure, why not? This is so, like... What? I mean, this ha I remember this happened in Splatoon 2 as well. I would just get matched in lobbies. Like, I went back to Splatoon 2 after having played Splatoon 3 in a while, just because I was curious, like, oh, I wonder... Like, because I was actually having fun with Splatoon 3 as opposed to Splatoon 2, so... I was kind of like, huh, I wonder if this is... 
So I like went back to Splatoon 2 to see if like is this just like a am I different now? Are the games actually different? Uh, type of thing. And I just I was like I don't remember what level I was. I think it was like level 20 or something. But the lobbies I kept put being put in were like the uh, I think there's a thing that you get when you reach level 100 and then you go back down to level one. So I was like facing in lobbies of like level 70, like 170 people. Or something like that. I remember one of them was like level 170. I was just like, okay, I guess I'm here now. And I guess I'm here now in lobbies of level 50 people. Not all, not all Japanese though, so lag is not a thing to worry about here. Oh yeah, I've heard this song before. What is... I have no idea what that picture was. I want, does this game have a jukebox? I don't know. Pink strike. Okay. Oh god. Well. I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, I have heard this song before, but I don't know... I actually don't know where I remember hearing it, because it's not in Splatoon 3. Actually, no, it is. It's, uh... It's, a. Uh, it plays in the, uh, the lobby. I... I'm bad at platforming. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a, uh... Whoa. This is definitely a, uh... A thing... A thing that, uh... You, uh... What am I trying to say? I think that plays in the lobby. Uh, just as background music. What is this ring? Oh no, that's just like a wire. It's like decorative. It was orange, so I was thinking like, oh, is it, a uh, Those, uh... Is it those things that's, like, triggering the, uh... The, uh... Like, marker position on me? I don't know. Uh, I, the orange team just, like, doesn't seem to be here. This is, a uh, something. Can I look at my screen? Yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I see beacons in the... in that box again. Is that a, uh... Is that how they're getting in? You just, like, put a beacon down in there? And then, like, everyone joins in the party? Oh uh, yeah, it sure seems like it. Yeah, and it's someone on the uh, on the blue team. Also, I think someone dropped because one of their one of the HUD things is a uh, like a dead squid, and uh, it doesn't seem to be coming back. Actually, I think two people dropped have dropped now. So uh, uh, three of them, or no, one of them came back. Oh no, it's just the one, I think. I guess they just got knocked out for a long time. Uh, alright. Guess I'll just hang out here. Ooh! Hooray! Well, I timed that wrong, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, we were just facing against two people. Or one person, even. Because one person dropped and two of them were stuck inside that box. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm level 5 now. Does that really matter? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep going. Why not? I'm having fun right now. I'm smoking. No reason to, uh, stop so fast. We'll just keep on going, why not? I still have this web page open of, uh, all the maps. Where was I before? I don't remember. Inkblot Art Academy? Sturgeon ship Shipyard? Yeah. Shifty Station? Well, I mean, that's a Splatoon 2 Splatfest thing. Uh, Manta Maria. I played the Splatoon 3 version. I never played the Splatoon 2 version. Uh, Snapper Canal. Never heard of Snapper Canal before. Mako Mart, that's a 
Splatoon 3 stage. Schellendorf Institute. Never heard of that before. Gobby Arena. Gobi? Gobby? Don't know. Again, never heard of that before. I guess I'll go over here. Why not? Turf War, I never really know what to do, if I'm being honest. I just kind of go wherever my wherever my heart uh, takes me. Okay, sure. Oh god. I'm still pressing, uh... Still pressing B to jump. Trying to, at least. Okay. I'm dead. Yep. Zinc Mini Splatling. Why is there a space between the Splatling and the exclamation mark? Is that a typo? They have a leading space, or I guess trailing space. Oh, so unprofessional. Can't believe this. Can't believe they did this. Oh god. Okay, I should have thrown down a bomb, but whatever. 52 gal deco. Yeah, there was no space there. How did that work? Oh, hello. Okay. I don't know how I survived that, but sure. Also, I don't know what that uh, skull, and, skull and crossbones was. Okay. Sure, I guess. I keep forgetting to look at my map. Because, like, normally I would just... What the fuck is this? What is this thing? Yeah, I keep forgetting to look down at my map. Because I keep, I keep pressing X to look at my map. Because I'm just used to that. But the map is on the gamepad screen. Which is like... I have to keep looking down. Kind of thing. Okay. A lot of stuff just happened and I'm not sure what happened. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Blip, 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 blip. Scare. Scare. That uh, doesn't seem safe. Okay. Scare. 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 Now let's see here, Gobi Arena. I've never heard of that stage before, ever. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just want to get through this list so I don't have to think about it. But uh, yeah, we won again. Uh, I don't know how this matchmaking works. It's a. Uh, I'm getting that same feeling that I'm getting when I got when I was playing Splatoon 2, where I'm either on a team that just loses terribly or absolutely destroys uh, the other team. So, I have a feeling uh, that might be this might be where my issues with Splatoon 2 originated. Well, I know that's where my issues with Splatoon 2 originally or, originated, but now I know it. But now, but now I'm thinking that's not exclusively a Splatoon 2 thing. That's also a thing with Splatoon 1 as well. But uh, I mean, I don't know. It's a it's a weird thing. It's also weird that I'm having, like at the beginning, I was having troubles trying to find people to play with, but now I'm getting people mostly no problem. It's, there has to be some kind of like ranking thing it does to determine like where, who you should be matched against. And they must have a special, or like a dedicated pool for new players or something. Or like people who don't have a rank yet or have, haven't started yet. And I guess there's not many people starting new files of Splatoon 1 cur today in October 4th, 2023. Like, what is it, six months before the before 
online shuts down. So, yeah. It's, a uh, Yeah. Oh man, it's the song. It's the song. It's the song that started it all. It's the song that I remember when this uh, game was like first announced. And I remember this because I remember thinking about the vocals. Like it, it just sounds like people going, you know. Okay. All right. Because it, yeah, it just sounds like people like doing that type of sound. Where you just like kind of like wave your finger back and forth on your lips. A kind of like babbly sound. Get out of here. Don't be doing that. I have a bubble on me now for some reason. I'm surrounded by an orb. What is with this? Is this like a robo... what is it called? Uh... Autobomb? I don't know. That seems very weird for it to be... For it to have that icon. That skull and bones icon. Or I guess it's just a skull, but still. It's like, what is this? Are you gonna try and do that? Well, I mean, usually that will work for you, but... Not today! Okay. This is like a a real battle kind of seeker. Interesting. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I... This battle feels like a real battle, almost. Because we're not, like... People aren't just, like, sticking themselves inside boxes. We got all four people here, I think. We might have three... 3v3, three three, but... Uh... No, it's... They're all here. Everybody is here. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. I don't know what that person's doing. I guess it's more like a 4v3. I... okay. It's more like a 2v4. <laughs> Considering my playage currently. Right at the end there, you know? Whatever. It's fine. But still, that was like a... a real battle, almost. Crazy. Oh, we still somehow won that. For like 30 points? 26 points? Yeah, close enough. Hmm. Cool. I did it. Might as well go. Keep going. So hot! What the fuck? Okay. What are these, like, level names? They're completely different in, uh, Splatoon 2 and 3. I think it's just, like, fresh, super fresh, ultra fresh, stuff like that. But this is, like, toasty, warm, hot, so hot. Incinerating, I'm assuming, is gonna be the next one. I don't know. I guess we'll, uh, we'll see. We might see in a moment. Alright, let's go. This is, uh, interesting music. There's also an interesting shade of pink. Makes me think of, like... At first I was thinking bubblegum, but now I'm thinking, like, some sort of...
pink ice cream. That uh, seems dangerous. Okay. Custom range blaster. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. Well, Kraken. Kraken got me. Now I'm like fighting real battles, kinda. And uh, I'm getting my my shit pushed in. Okay. Okay. That seems dangerous. Okay. Okay. Not today. Not today. We're already we already are losing, so you know. Okay. I... that worked. Yeah, That's an interesting combination of colors. I don't think I've seen this combination before. It's very, like, ice cream... or, like, ice cream bubblegum slash, I guess, just general sweets color. I don't know. That's what it makes me think of, at least. Strawberry and lemon. Lemon! I didn't do that inflection, right? But whatever. You understand? Probably, maybe. Oh, it's like a little, uh, boat. Okay. <laughs> that works. It's like a little, uh, motorboat. Hello. Not today, buddy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. We did it. Real win, but they got 777 seven, seven points, so... I don't know. Who really won that? Alright, uh, I do need to pause really quickly. Uh, hopefully it won't be too long. But, uh... Just, uh, you just gotta give me a moment here. Very quickly. Alright, uh, I'm back. So... Uh, let's head back on in. Let's head on back in. On back... At, I don't even know if that's a proper sentence. Oh my god. Instant join. Isn't that crazy? I'm so hot. It's actually... It's been weirdly hot around here. It was like 30 degrees uh, the past couple days. And it's like... The start of October. Like, what... The, I swear, the weather is... can't make up its mind. But don't worry, everything is fine. It's... I don't know. Also, I know I said 30 degrees, which... I don't know who's watching from the States, but... I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. 30 degrees Celsius is very hot, though. I believe... Uh, 68 Fahrenheit is 20 degrees Celsius, so, uh, you know, kind of extrapolate from there. I guess that would be, by that math, like, close to 90? Or, like, high 80s? It's hot. <laughs> That's, like, the measurement I try to go by whenever I have to, like, describe temperature to anyone from the states because like uh i just know that there are two numbers that are like always consistent i guess is uh 
0 degrees, which is 32, and 20 degrees, which, yeah, 68. I'm pretty sure, because of, like, the way the conversion goes. It's, like, 5 Celsius degrees for every 9 Fahrenheit degrees, I think. And that works out to... That works out to 20 being, like, the easy one to remember. Yeah. One day I'll think to use my, uh, super jump abilities, but... Nope. Uh, remembering to super jump, because it's not if immediately available on the screen is, uh, hard. This is... that's cool. Uh... How are we doing on the map, actually? We're... it's about 50-50 right now. Okay. Yeah. I keep like instinctively reaching down to hit the ouch call out, but I always miss. And even if I did, it would yell "come on" rather than "ouch." So I don't know how many people are like Splatoon One experts that would get uh, confused by that. But uh, I don't even know like how you would mention that you are. Uh... I don't even know like what the thing to do is when you are. When you get killed and you have to say, hey, I died here. There's, there are people here who are trying to kill me. I don't know. I have not used my special at all now that I think about it. This is cool. Alright. I guess one thing that's also interesting is that uh, the online for Splatoon it was free. That's... alright. Yeah, the online... for Splatoon on the Wii U. Or I guess online on the Wii U in general is free. Okay. Ah! My technique kind of worked. But it, it, not really. What are we doing? We should be, like, going around. That would make so much more sense to do. Oh, I'm at low on ink. Oops. Alright, whatever. Well. Defeat. We're so, like, distraught by this. Just, like, on the ground. Smacking the ground. It's like, God, they're so... They're so distraught. Breaking news, let's go live to Callie and Marie in the studio. What? Why are we going to the studio? Hold on to your tentacles. It's Inkopolis news time. Stage news. Let's unveil the current regular battle stages. Camp Triggerfish. Being here makes me feel like a kid. Really? I feel more like a squid. Okay. Museum Dalfonsino. All this priceless artwork is going to be covered in ink. It'll be an improvement in most cases. And now the current ranked battle stages. Splatastic. Urchin Underpass. The birds here are totes adorbs. So, you're Team Bird, then? Kelp Dome. I saw a Super Sea Snail in here the other day. I hear they love to eat kelp. Okay. Okay, why did we have to go back to the news to see this? I don't... Okay. I guess we'll just go back in. I mean, we got new stages. We might as well see what they see what they are. Uh, can't play any ranked stuff. Still, what is it, six levels? Six levels to go. So, I don't know. Let's uh, see who's here. That's all right. Instant join. Are there any people who we haven't? Who was in the last thing before? In the previous area? Wow, this place looks really different, actually. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? 
what? Is I don't okay. Is I don't I'm confused. Anyway, yeah, this place is very different. There's like a a thing here. Is that, is this a hacker? I feel like this is a hacker. Uh, yeah, I, I'm feeling... I'm feeling this is very hacky right now. Oh, and there's like a... Oh, this is weird. This is weird. This is a place you can drop off. That scared me, so I just walked off. Uh... Okay. Yeah, this is... Super weird. Having this, uh, rotating... There's like a first rotating thing here. And then a second one. And then there's still a one in the middle. It's actually a lot higher up than uh, the, the others. Okay, I'm... Okay. E-Leader 3K scope? 3K? I know there's a 4K scope, but... Uh... 3K? Okay, I think once this uh, battle is over, it'd be a good idea to get out of this lobby because uh, this doesn't seem very uh, very uh, good. Okay, I'm gonna lose. I think the game is the game lagging. That might just be me, or it could be the hacker just tossing a bunch of shit everywhere. Oh my god. Yeah. The game is lagging, but I uh, I feel like it's for good reason. It's a uh, yeah. I'm just gonna kind of not participate in this because uh, this doesn't seem very cool. I'm just gonna look more at the stage layout actually. This is so funky. Okay, you cannot get up here. You have to go up this way, which is interesting. Also, yeah, this thing is so much bigger than before. Okay. Yeah. This is so funky. Uh... Oh, hello. I'm dead. Well, uh... I said I wasn't gonna participate in this, so... I mean, if anything, the <laughs> this cheater's got it all... Uh... Got it all set up for them. For us, I guess. Yeah, you can do it. You got it. I'm just... Yeah. Uh, they're just kind of still running around. It looks like. Yeah. That's... That's good. I wonder if cheating has become uh, prolific now that the... Uh, I guess everyone's moved on to Splatoon 2 and 3. I'll just, uh, yeah. I will just, uh, leave this lobby and, like, wait a minute or two for them to do their thing. Get into their own game. I'm back down to Toasty. Interesting. Uh, well, that... I was not expecting that, so... yeah... You know what? While we're waiting... Let me finish off this list. Uh... Wahoo World. Yes, I've seen that before. I don't remember the Splatoon 3 version, because, uh... Or the Splatoon, Splatoon 2 version, but I do know the Splatoon 3 version. New Albacore Hotel. Never heard of that before. Skipper Pavilion. Uh... That does not sound familiar to me. Based on, based on a traditional Japanese theater, it's a laterally symmetrical stage. I... nope, no idea. And everything else is uh, Splatoon 3 stages. No, I still haven't played Ship Ship Cargo Company outside of that one session where I was getting destroyed in Clam Blitz. That was a... Uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Map rotations are a thing. Yep. Uh, Alright, I think that should be long enough. Let's uh, 
try going back in, I guess. Searching for a battle to join. It was a Discord person who was uh, doing that, I think. They had Discord in their name, so... I guess we know who to avoid. Of course, it doesn't matter if I'm being put in a Japanese lobby, so... Uh, we got we got Alk, we got Shirasu, uh, Takase, uh, Takase rather, Tomu, uh, I can't tell, Brown. It's probably not Pudown, it's pr it's Budan. Uh, Miku, me, and Wii U. And I am love. Uh, okay. Got a bunch of crazy characters. Oh, the place actually changes color as well. The rotating things. That's really funky, actually. Okay, everyone seems to be fine here. No crazy uh, things going everywhere. Okay. Uh, alright. There's a big gap there. Should not try to jump that. Okay. Oh, there's someone there. Yeah, there is. I got splatted by a seeker. By a speedboat. But you can't swim on that. Okay. Oh, I see. The thing on the right is, like, blinking. The bomb... What was it called? Bomb sniffer thing? That's why it has the skull and crossbones there. Because if you get close, you will die. That was weird. It, like, made the same sounds as, like, hitting an inkling. Uh, me shooting the sprinkler. That was kind of confusing. I guess those weren't separate sounds before. Which is something. Oh god. Yeah, I... Yeah. I am love. And they're pink. Very fitting. Uh, yeah, I'm just kinda... here right now, I'm not really doing much, if I'm being honest. Pink strike. Uh, snipers. I didn't realize that the, uh, thing would start blinking if your, like, power is activated. On the, on the right there, under the, uh, Top right under the... What is it called? Not Trizuka. Inksuka. Uh, which is, uh... Interesting. So now I know how Bomb Sniffer works, I guess. Alright. I was trying to do the jump. Like, jump while shooting. But, uh... I keep forgetting that. Uh... It's, uh... It's the X button. Not the... Not the B button. That is something that I will never get used to. Well, I mean, I, I can get used to it, but it's not something I'm gonna get used to here. Like, in this session. Because I remember it screwed me up playing Splatoon 2, confusing what the jump button was, because I was playing Breath of the Wild at the time, and the jump button in that game is X. And in Splatoon 2, it's B. So... Yeah. It's, uh... I... yeah. But yeah, I, I eventually got used to it, but... It's, uh... Um... It, it, did, it did take a while, so... Don't expect me to remember to jump at any point during this. I want to see Camp Triggerfish. That way, you can see... Stages that started in Splatoon 1 that aren't in Splatoon 3. That way, if they ever do come to Splatoon 3, I gotta 
I got a tactical advantage. I know what this Splatoon 1 layout looks like. Which doesn't help at all, because Museum Alfon Alfonsino is completely different. And Port Macro might have been too, but I, again, I don't remember that stage well enough to say for sure. Okay, now no one is here. We're having such easy times finding games before. And now... Now we're back in... Uh, the desert, no man's land. We've been abandoned. We've been abandoned, Miku and Wii U. All we have is each other to support us. <gasps> we got a, a face, an emoticon. Open bracket, number sign, hyphen, number sign, close bracket, exclamation mark. Actually, they're parentheses, not brackets. Brackets are the square ones, I think. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I just hit my mic. We got Kokomon Sai. Or no, Chi. Kokomon Chi. I always, I always confuse Sa and Chi because it's like P and Q in English. Which I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's just one of those things you have to memorize, I guess. We got Saturn. Saturn, the planet of Saturn, has joined us. They decided to leave their orbit trail for a little bit to join us for this game of Splatoon. Or take a break on their orbit. I wonder what the latency is like out there. These are the types of jokes that you can expect while I'm just sitting here staring at a screen. Waiting for a, either a timer to count down to zero or for the last searching box to fill in. Uh, I mean, if you made it this far, then you, you already know what to expect from me, so... I mean... Yeah. No different from normal, I suppose. Squid Games. I tried thinking of a joke, but I, I I couldn't. I'm tired. Splatoon is a is a tiring game. It's even more tiring if you're playing like ranked modes and stuff, but it's just generally tiring. There's just so much like going on that you have to keep track of. I don't know. This game, it's a game where you, you have to take breaks every now and then, because otherwise your brain will melt. You can basically look at any Splatfest VOD I've done and look at like the end of each segment, see how well I play there. See how fried my brain is by the end of it. Also, hey, we're at Camp Triggerfish. Uh, I don't know what this stage is like. This seems... This actually seems kind of big compared to the other stages. That's a... Uh, I also don't know where I'm going. Uh, okay, we're on the ice cream lemon sweets uh, color set again. A uh, bunch of uh, grates that you can't swim on. I might be dead. Okay. Squid Games, no! I've never actually seen the show Squid Games. It was just described to me as basically Dangan live action Dang and Rampa, and I was just kind of like, eh, eh. Death games are like whatever. I got, I kind of got over it by uh, when I got through all the Dang and Rampa games. Uh, so you know. Also, that was like a weird area, it's like a pond area. What was what's going on? You can't go up there. That's... that's good. Uh, can you go up here? It looks more... friendly for that. Okay. 
Yes, my ability to walk in a straight line is very good. That's... Alright. Cool. Actually, I just looked down at the map at the first time and I'm realizing, yeah, this is... Okay. Yeah, this is a actually a very big map. The gates are down. What? Oh, hello. I don't know what that means. The gates are down. Okay. Well, there goes Mr. Mario. But now it would be the addition of like two more people. Okay. All right. Sloshing machine. Yo. Uh. That's it. It looked like it faded out well before I got there, but I guess not. All right. Cool. Uh, yeah, wow, this place is big. I didn't even get to see that, like, top area. I don't even know what they meant by the gates are down. I don't... I don't know. I died eight times. Look at that. I mean, sure, we'll, we'll do one more, and then I think I'll call it there. God, I'm not even saying anything, I'm just staring at the screen. I mean, not that I need to say anything, I'm just... Yeah, because I'm going to cut this out anyway. Man. I mean, it's annoying whenever I have to edit stuff, but... I mean, for one-offs, it makes more sense to do it this way, but, you know... You, what do you want? Watch. Reflect on your day. Log how you're feeling right now. Uh, I'll say I feel pleasant. What best describes this feeling? Uh, muse? No. Uh, grateful, content, calm. I am calm at this moment. I have 10% battery remaining. That's good. It's having the biggest impact on you. I guess... Hobbies would be the closest thing? I don't know. We're about to start playing. I should probably, like, play. My, my thoughts have been logged. Bombs? Okay. Uh, I'm dead. I'm hitting the B button to jump. Okay. Okay. Cool. I have an, uh, a big ol' stare down over there, it seems. I'm still trying to figure out what they mean by the gates are down. Where do gates go down? I did not see any gates. That's what I remember doing the first time I heard that, heard this song. I was just like, these squid vocals are just blah, 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 blah. that type of thing. Get out of the ink. Get out of the blue ink. Okay, that's, yeah. Okay. Just hanging out. Mr. Mario. Okay. Okay. Let's jump. I am amazed that worked. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Hello, unknown. Okay, they both got each other, it looks like. That's fine. Hey, ray, ray, ray. The gates are down. I don't, still don't know what that means. All right. All right. Love the sniper rifles. All right. Okay. I don't know, there's no indicator as to when the, uh, when you can, like, throw a bomb out again, is there? That's, that's something that I just now realized, and I was like, I was wondering, I was, I was wondering to myself, like, I, I don't know, like, how much ink these things take. And I'm just like, oh, now I realize it. That, yeah, I'm, I, I'm observant. But it is marked on the ink tank on the actual inkling. That's weird. Again, I only just noticed that now. I don't know. Oh well. Well, that's... I guess that's one way to end off. Alright, so... Yeah. That will do it here. I'm just about to get up to level 7, though. You know what? No. One more. We're gonna get up to level 7. That's a better place to end it, I feel. Rather than just, like, on on that. On a loss like that. I'm just toasty again. When did that happen? I thought I was so hot before. When did I become merely a piece of toast? How dare they? Hey. All right. Here we go. Final battle here on Camp Triggerfish. Wait, were those the gates? That they showed on the opening thing? That? Is that what those are? Is that what they're referring to? I don't... They, they kind of look like... do look like it, actually. Okay. Oh, hello. Snipers! Again. Hmm. Strange. Oh god. That uh, was kind of scary. I am an idiot. Okay. Yeah. Just walk off the platform. If you don't mind. I guess that'll be something to pay attention to whenever the thing says the gates are open. Oh god. Get safety. No. Try to live. Ah. They have so much range, dude. Oh no, it's O again. O S on. O I get. Eh, I, don't, I can't read right now. I'm already distracted enough. I'm trying to live. Okay. Okay. Eh. I. Did I hear something? Maybe, perhaps? Ah, oh, damn it. I just tried doing the roll thing, but it didn't work. I forgot that that's a Splatoon 3 thing. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, that is what that is. Huh. Crazy. 
Okay. Oh man, first time using this. Okay, come on. Get out of the ink, dude. Well, that was a waste. Because I got stuck in the ink and I couldn't move. Couldn't bloody move. Okay. No, you don't. None of that. None of that here. Yeah, I got this stage memorized now. Memorized like the back of my hand. Not really, but I at least figured out what the gimmick was. Whatever they meant by the gates are open. I don't know why they have a like thing for that, like a specific callout for that. Seems odd to me, but just for that, but I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. Oh, we just barely won by like 20 points. 23 point difference. Hell yeah. And I did the best. Hell yeah. I'm an MVP. Okay, one person, I guess, dropped or like didn't do anything because they had zero points, but still. MVP. I can conquer any Splatoon game, no matter what version. Big talk right before getting into rank battles and like eating shit. I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, we didn't get to see any ranked battles, but I mean, I don't... It wasn't really... That wasn't really my main goal of this, anyway. It was just to check out uh, Splatoon 2 and stare at the ground. Uh, so yeah. I just turned around to, like, try to go to Splatsville via the stairs, but, uh... Yeah, I just remembered. Oh yeah, this is Splatoon 1. Is there still the, uh, thing that plays? Yeah. They still got that jingle. Uh, man. This place really is just the same thing as in Splatoon 3, isn't it? I mean, I guess that's what you paid for, but, uh... Yeah, it's just, uh... It's, uh... It's just the same. Except this is available, I guess. Uh, so yeah. I guess that'll do it. Uh, Splatoon 1. It's, uh... It, uh... It definitely feels like the first uh, game, but yeah, it's it's still still pretty fun to play through. So I mean, yeah, I uh, I don't know if I'd like go out of my way to play this game today compared to Splatoon Three, but uh, you know, it was a interesting look into, I guess, a time long past. Because uh, like I said, I never played Splatoon One ever, so. I'm only really getting in, getting to see it in it in this in this uh, I guess uh, degraded state because you can't even see like Miiverse posts and stuff, and like they they won't do like Splatfests or whatever here ever again. So yeah, and I mean the game itself is shutting down in April. So yeah, I guess uh, I guess that's uh, that'll be the most of my experience here. I assume you can still just like stand in front of the in front of the people here and have them wave at you or whatever. But uh, I don't know. It's not important. I still they had the name tags and everything, and I still don't remember who is who. I just know it's Callie and Marie, but I don't know if Callie is the pink one or the green one. Uh, but yeah. Uh, all right. So yeah, that'll. Do it for Splatoon One. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect anything more from me from this game, uh, at least in terms of the online. Because uh, I do want to eventually play the story mode in this game, which uh, you know doesn't require the online. So uh, at some point I will do that, but uh, I'm not in any huge rush to play it right now. Uh, so yeah, that'll do it for Splatoon One. Uh, I mean, it. Uh, seems cool. I'm sure in its heyday it was like the best thing ever that uh, Nintendo had to put out in recent years. I mean, hey, Splatoon is now one of Nintendo's biggest franchises. Uh, so, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a... Uh, it got popular for a reason. I can sort of see why that is the case here. Uh, but, yeah, that'll do it for Splatoon 1. Uh, 
I mean, I'm sure many people are sad to see it go, but uh, I will uh, I will send it off with a with a salute. Uh, yeah, I'm saluting. May you rest in peace. I guess. I mean, it's not dead yet, but I mean, we saw we saw <laughs> we saw what was happening before. It's a uh, it's pretty sparse these lobbies, so it's a uh, it's it's its final days. So I mean. If you have the chance, might as well play it. Why not, right? Uh, and yeah, I mean, I don't know when this one-off will be going. I don't think I'll wait until its final day, but it'll just go up whenever it's uh, available, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that'll do it uh, for Splatoon 1 Online. I nearly dropped my gamepad on the ground, which, uh, yeah. Uh, so that'll do it. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a good one. Take it easy, and uh, see you later, Splatoon. You've been a real one, I guess. I don't know. I'm still trying to match this game's dialogue. Is a uh, it? It feels weird whenever it comes out of my mouth because I don't talk like that. You've been a real G. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>